When it comes to kaiju introductions, you cannot get any better than the introduction of the 320 meter goliath seen at the end of Godzilla Planet of the Monsters, Godzilla Earth. I basically love everything in this introduction. I love the music accompanying it. I love the speeches that Martin and Meth Fees give about Godzilla. I love that Godzilla Earth is the biggest Godzilla ever! I love how everyone is just in a state of panic at the sudden reveal of him. I love the look that Godzilla Earth gives the Earth Forces, which I interpret as, really? This again? I love that Godzilla has all of these new powers. I love almost everything in this scene. Almost. While this scene is fantastic, it has one problem, and that's this part. Wait, but Gigan, this scene takes place before Godzilla Earth's reveal, so what's the problem? The problem is that it gets rid of any mystery revolving a second Godzilla. Godzilla Earth's introduction is presented as a big reveal, a massive surprise to everyone in the film. And while it works for them, it doesn't work for us. Seeing as how we know this is a trilogy, and there has to be a Godzilla to carry along this trilogy, and with the Godzilla that we've known dead, a trilogy will cease to happen unless there's something else out there. So how do we fix it, Gigan? Well, if I was put in charge of Pana myself, I wouldn't have Godzilla Phileas, but rather just have Godzilla Earth in a constant pursuit of our protagonist, thus keeping the story in a constant state of suspense throughout the movie, and then have the sequel enacting the plan to kill him. But if I had to keep two Godzillas, here's how i do it. So a majority of the story would overall be the same. Humans find possibly habitable planet, but it isn't, so they go back to Earth, find Godzilla Phileas, fight him, I get rid of the scene where Phileas kicks the bucket. It's an extremely simple change, but one that benefits the film. And here's how. Remember how I stated earlier in the video that the reveal of Godzilla Earth is treated as a big surprise to the characters in the film, but isn't to the audience because we already know this is a trilogy? This change keeps that element of surprise by not having Philly die, at least by the humans. Maybe while Philly is trapped in the rocks, Godzilla Earth emerges from the ground and then grabs him in his mouth and just eats him. Wait, but why have Godzilla Earth eat Philly? Power! If Philly could tank futuristic weapons like nothing, but then have Godzilla Earth kill him like nothing, it would be a sign for our characters to step at their A game and bring in Mecha Godzilla, who still looks like the Millennium Falcon, but that's for a different video. To wrap everything up, I'm overall conflicted about the future of this trilogy. With the possibility that Mothra will conclude the series, scratch that, she's basically all but confirmed, and that the same team who wrote this will write the next two films, then I'm not really sure how to feel. I want to remain optimistic towards City on the Edge of Battle, but I'm worried that if writing blunders like what happened in Potom are anything to go by, then chances are there's gonna be some form of revelation, but then something else will happen to fill its place. I stated in a Year of the Monsters video that I want to see this trilogy through, but at this point, with all this stuff working against this trilogy, I don't know guys. I think I might have doubts on this decision. But anyways, this is Gigan telling you guys to write good stories full of surprises and remember to wash your hands. Bye.